Hello everyone, uh, we are going to demo our prototype um, under our thesis paper, Development of Root Zone Cooling System for Simple Nutrient Addition Program, Hydroponics of Spinach, oh, um, presented by Kenneth Osako and Eden Veronica S. Villar. So let's get started. Okay, for our prototype, so here they are. So they are three um, snap hydroponic setups, so two of the Two of those are implemented using RCC and the other one isn't applied with RCC. So the last two setups here are setups two and three. So those two are implemented with RCC. And but the first picture here is not implemented with RCC. So it so it is under controlled by ambient uh, water temperature here. So the second picture is controlled at a um, at a closed system room. Um, cold temperature of tw at 25 degrees Celsius and the last one is 20 degrees Celsius. So here is the Pelter modules and as you can see there are DC fans connected to it. So used to cool the hot side of the Pelter module while the other side of the Pelter module are used to cool the inside the planting container. Okay, so on the on the um, bottom right side, so here is the prototype box. So which houses the the components of our prototype control system okay so on the top are the spinach plants which are um, inserted on on top of the container okay so basically here's our um, rcc system okay as you can see here this is our um, prototype box so here's the arduino here's the lcd module okay here's the Back converter and everything else here. So this is the powerhouse of our um, hardware prototype. So without this, um, our con control system won't work. We won't be able to. Um, we won't be able to implement RZZ on a snap hydroponic setup. So what is this? Um, so this is the screenshot of the water temperature values. So that are obtained. Um, for 10 for 10 trials so data 1 data 2 data 3 up to data 10 so first one is 24.75 the last one is 24.85 degrees Celsius um, um, under what so they are under setup 2 being controlled at 25 degrees Celsius so as you can see here it the system cools off if the temperature goes beyond 24.5 degrees Celsius and it cools on um, and it cools on if it goes beyond a, a specific temperature range. Okay, so here are the LCD values for set setup three under twenty degrees Celsius. So it's like it's just like the previous slide. Okay, as you can see here, here is the video of the prototype system. Okay, here are the plants. So as you can see, there are I will return this, this part. Okay, as you can see, um, the spinach crops are planted on plastic cups. So the soil here is mixed with 50% cocoa choir and 50% soil medium. So below of that, below that surface of the planting container is where the snap hydroponics um, liquid is superimposed. Okay, So that liquid is composed of a specific um, concentration of water and and snap fertilizer solution okay so you need a specific we are following that specific concentration of snap hydroponics fertilizer water combination water mixture because if we were able to if we were able to increase to a specific level beyond that recommended level of concentration or below that the plants might die okay so it's critical it's critical so that we need to um, mix those concentrations to the right amount okay okay yes you can see our control system is working so water equals to 20.19 it's cooling on Okay, 
the the value changes as you can see here because um, it keeps accepting input values so because this is a closed control system so every time it records a water temperature value so it adjusted it adjusts adjusts the Pelter module and the cooling fan to well it depends if it's cooling on and off so if it's cooling on then the Pelter module is activated so that it will cool the water inside the containers but if, if it's cooling off it will turn off those Pelter modules so that the system will heat it up again and then um, if if a certain temperature level has been has met has been met and then it will start cooling on again so the cycle the cycle continues Okay, here's the inside of the container right, of the uh, no, prototype, prototype box. Okay, here are the transistors, the MOSFET transistors used in the, in the PCB board. Okay, that's the end of our presentation. Um, I would just like to uh, acknowledge our advisor for making this thesis study, um, Engineer Mayo Vincent Kaya. Uh, thank you very much. Um, to our panels as well, um, to our friends, family, and also to the Almighty God. Um, thank you for listening to our presentation and thank you.